Okay, I have started the recording. We are, uh, it's May 3rd, 2022, and we're reading the chapter number four, but the, the first, the product, you. Before the rules can be applied for the, for the best, mo most unbelievable results, the man of your dreams asking you to marry him, you have to be the best you you can be. Certainly not perfect or gorgeous, but the best you can be. So, look your best. The better you look, the better you will feel, and the more desirable you will become to him. Maybe other men will start finding you more attractive and asking you out. You will no longer feel that the man you're currently dating is the only man on earth. You'll be less anxious and more confident. And when you look and feel good, you're less likely to break the rules. We are not nutritionists, but we do know that eating right protein, fruits, and vegetables makes you feel good. And that exercise releases endorphins, which make you feel happier and more energetic. So in addition to a healthy diet, we strongly suggest that you shake your buns. Join a gym, buy an exercise video, or go jogging in a nearby park. Also a great place to meet men who are jogging or walking their dogs. Make exercise exciting by playing music while you do sit-ups. Diet and exercise and the rules have a lot in common. Both require putting long-term goals before short-term gratification. You will have to experience a certain amount of discomfort when you, when you can't eat a cookie and you can't call a man. But you want to be fit and you want to get married. So you do what you have to do. Make friends with a woman in the same predicament and jog together. Go to dances together and reprimand each other when either of you is tempted to break the rules. You don't have to do all this hard work alone. If you are serious about finding a husband, then you must change your definition of gratification. Gratification is a man calling you, pursuing you, and asking you to marry him. Gratification is not a hot fudge Sunday or a hot date where you break the rules. Self-improvement will help you catch and keep a man. So try to change bad habits like slovenliness if you expect to live with a man. Men like women who are neat and clean. They also make better mothers of their children, the kind who don't lose their kids at the beach. Now a word about clothes. If you walk around in any old, any old clothes on the theory that what counts is only what's inside, not your outside, think again. Men like women who wear fashionable, sexy clothes in bright colors. Why not please them? If you don't know a lot about clothes, read fashion magazines like Cosmopolitan, Vogue, Glam Glamour, Marabella, and books on the subject. Consult a friend whose taste you admire or enlist the help of a personal shopper at a department store. Trying on clothes by yourself in a dressing room can be overwhelming and confusing. Not to mention, not to mention painful if you are out of shape. So it's always good to get a second opinion. Why not a professional one? Profe personal shoppers can help you find clothes that look good on you and that hide your flaws as opposed to clothes that are perhaps trendy but not flattery. Always remember when you are shopping that you are unique, a creature unlike any other. A woman, don't aspire to the unisex look. Buy feminine-looking clothes to wear on the weekends, as well as during the work week. Remember that you're dressing for men, not other women. So always strive to look feminine. While it's good to keep up with the times, don't be a fashion slave. Don't spend a month's salary, say, on bell bottoms and clogs just because they happen to be in vogue this year. First of all, they may not be around next season, and more, and more importantly, you may not look good in them. We know women who have gone overboard with one look, be it man tailor suits or oversized, oversized crocheted sweaters, 
and ended up looking overdressed, trendy, and not at all sexy. Be a smart shopper, not a runway spender. Buy a few classics and mix them with cheaper items. Keep in mind that just because something is in vogue doesn't mean that it will look good on you or you on you or appeal to men. Need me to go on? Oh, hi. Uh, so we can uh, definitely have a lot now to mm -hmm. talk about. You can stop right there. We can continue on later. Is there anything you would like to share uh, based on your personal mm -hmm. uh, opinion? Okay. Now, okay. When it is saying, you know, to like work on you and first it's like work on the outer. Now that is true. Men are visual creatures. Where women are more feeling, you know, audio and all that. Men are visual. So, you know, I don't know many guys who are going to be attracted to a woman if it's obvious she has a face, she doesn't take care of herself, and, you know, all that chip, chip nail polish, smelly, you know, all, all that. So... So, you know, it's telling you, you know, you don't have to be like Cindy Crawford, good looking, but work with what you have, like what the French do. The French work with their imperfections. They actually celebrate it. And, and you know, and not to go out and think, oh, well, uh, this is in style. Oh, all the men will find me sexy. Uh, no, I've, I'm a lot older than you, Elena. And I have seen some trends come and go that I look at and I'm like, please don't tell me I ever wore that. And so, you know, am I, but you know, but to also discover your own style, like my style is dramatic flamboyant with a touch of trendy, but somebody else could be romantic or whatever. And, you know, to work with that, you know, don't be a Stefford wife. But first, you've got to work on your outer appearance. So if you need to lose some weight, lose some weight. If you want to get, you know, do it. But it's also saying, too, that to approach the rules as like you would a strict diet and exercise. And that, you know, that goes back to when I used to lift weights competitively. No steroids. Okay, when I was training for a meet, I mean, I had to crack down on what I ate. I had to be real strict with my training, and that's how, you know, you cannot budge. I even had to be strict about what time I went to bed, and and that's how you approach the rules. You do not budge if you expect to see results. That's true. Thank you. Thank you, Renegade, for sharing that. <laughs> That's, uh, I just want to add to whatever you already said. Um, yes, yeah, so the rules are basically like a street diet. And uh, the rule number, I, I would consider mm -hmm. this is the rule number one for me because it's, it, you know, everything starts with you, um, you know, and, mm -hmm. and, and whoever you attract, basically. So I think um, you as a pro you need to see it truly you as a product. And that really um, understandably goes against many women's opinions, saying that what, you know, what counts is on the inside. It's all, it's all about that you're a nice person, and you're good hearted and you're helping other people. And while this is not necessarily um, to discount, this is extremely important. Also, it's also within the rules. Um, being a rules girl, you have to be a kind hearted and helpful, but, but it's just, but this is a book, not necessarily how to be a good person. This is a book about how to attract your Mr. Right. So Mr. Right is a man. We're talking in this particular book um, about heterosexual relationships. And to understand how you truly do your best is to accept, accept, truly accept deep down that men are visual and men don't really care for your inside qualities unless they like your looks. And that might hurt. And it is hurtful to, to <laughs> accept that, you know, not everybody, not every guy will like you just because you're a nice person. But he will like you if you if you're let's say if you're red hair and he likes he happens to like 
you know, red hair girls or blonde or whatever his type is, or, you know, every guy has a different type and you exactly as you are basically is you are somebody's type regardless of your circumstances but the the rule number one so that for me the first product is you is what it means is that whatever you are dealing with with your looks right now whatever you're you have what kind of um you know resources you have you just have to utilize them it it really doesn't matter where you start as long as you start and improve your looks in the most you know in in the best way you can and if I, if I go by by the text, uh, <coughs> mm-hmm. so it says, um, for example, the first thing we read, we are not nutritionists, but we know that eating right proteins mm-hmm. and fruits and vegetables makes you feel good. And I can confirm, you know, I used to work as a model for very, very long time since the age of 15 until I was 29, almost 30. So this is what I was doing for a living. And I have to say, you know, a relationship with food um, was very it, it was it was it was a real thing because as, as a model you're constantly judged by your looks nobody i mean yes people do care about your personality because they have to work with you in the end of the day they have to like you as a person but the first thing they see is just your looks they, they don't care they don't look past your looks if they if or for your insights if they if they don't like your look and um so you have to be accepting that you're not everybody's type as well. Um, okay, what else do we have here? Uh, okay, about the diet, I have to say something. And then, um, yeah, about being neat. So the rules also mention something about being neat. Um, and it really translates into your looks. When, you're, when your home is neat to the best possible way, of course, it's not it doesn't have to be perfect we're not perfect we're humans we are unperfect creatures uh, but you have to do the best you can uh, within your abilities so if your home is neat it really translates into your looks most of the times um, when you go on the street you see women all kinds of women and you you subconsciously even if you try not to but you judge them by your looks right so we all do that that's normal um what else so the rules also mention um the close uh yeah like you said it renegade like everybody has her own personal um style and i do think the rules really support that you you can be your personal you know self and you have you can have your personal style so there's no no wrong in having something unique on your body but um so but the rules say okay if you want to attract them you know if you want to have a broad spectrum of men trying to to woo you, trying to take you out, you need to, um, you don't have to, but you can tone it down a little bit and wear more classic styles. But that's what we read in, in later chapters. Um, so, and also it mentions regarding fashion that not everything in fashion that we see in magazines, like they, they mentioned this, um, the shoes, something like with the shoes. Um, so it doesn't have it, it's not always sexy and, and appealing to men what's what you see in magazines and i as a as a former model i can totally agree with that that i often have seen collections of designers where i would never never wear because they're just so unappealing and unflattering on the body and yes so we have to be smart about our fashion choices and not spend uh, too much money on things that are actually not working in in terms of dating um what else was here Mm-mm-mm. oh yeah okay so i would say we stop right there and uh continue reading the same chapter in the next session what do you think